This video will be about the HP ThinKline 5740. Now what makes this product really interesting is that I got it for $2 from Goodwill. Now this is all I got with $2. Just the machine itself. Thankfully I actually do have a universal power adapter and I did get the right uh, plug to plug it to this HP ThinKline and this cost I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it was around 15 to 20 bucks so it's a lot more expensive than the computer itself. Let's take a look at the IOs of this HP ThinKline. So in the front you have the power button, headphone and microphone as well as two USB I'm assuming it's a USB 2.0 it might be USB 1.0 and you have the HP logo and then on the back this is for antenna thing, uh, Ethernet port, four USBs, a display port which is kind of interesting, and then a VGA cable. You have your PS2 ports, and that's your uh, your serial port and the power uh, thing. One more thing before we get on to the good stuff is that this thing doesn't actually have any fans. It's passively cold, so this might be great for like a surveillance system or a NAS where you want things to be quiet. And uh, this is really what made me happy, I guess, that this thing doesn't have any fan. So let's plug it in and show you guys what I've got so far. So this machine actually uh, came with. Windows XP Embedded Edition, I'm not too familiar with it, but I deleted it, repartitioned it, and installed Windows XP 32-bit. This thing do did come with an uh, internal Wi-Fi card, but it was not that great since I don't have the Wi-Fi strengthener. So I took out this out from Raspberry Pi. This thing actually came with the Canna kit, and it ran much better. So let's take a look at the specs. If you right-click uh, My Computer and click Properties, you will see your computer specs. So you guys can see this thing has an Intel Atom processor with 2 gigs of RAM, which I was really surprised. And if you guys don't know, uh, 2 gigs is plenty for Windows XP. Now here's the major issue. This thing also only has 2 gigs of storage. So 2 gigs of, I think it's fast storage. It's very fast, but only 2 gig which is not enough to do anything except if you're running like embedded edition now you can uh, web browse with this thing and I did uh, get Google Chrome which is like a 100 megabyte file but uh, it's way better than the default internet browser you can web browse you can go to reddit and it works just fine but don't expect to run YouTube video because it's not gonna run that well although 360p video I mean it's possible, but it didn't seem like that great of an experience. Now it's time to run Android on this thing. So I was able to run Android 4.3 version, uh, just run it straight from the USB. I didn't install it or anything like that. And it ran fine. I did have random crashes. It's not the most stable version, but I was able to run and actually was able to play some games on it as well. Here is Hill Climb Racing, a very popular game. It has uh, more than 100 million uh, downloads from the Google Play Store. And it ran just fine, uh, which I expected it, I guess. I did have to use the mouse, uh, which is not the most ideal thing to use, but it ran just fine. Next, let's try running Google Chrome OS or Chromium OS on the HP ThinKline. As expected, it ran uh, Chromium OS just fine. This is not the official uh, Chrome, Chromium OS, but uh, it's uh, like a modified version, and it ran just fine. And I I really don't know what to do with this thin kind. I'm pretty sure it will sit on like a shelf for a long time until I figure out what to do with it next. You guys can comment down below uh, letting me know what to do and I might make more videos of it. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I do have the Hackintosh video as well as my graphics card video coming out soon. Subscribe.